Hey guys, so if you're new here or if you're not, if you want to hear me voice act, head over to our main channel, links down below. And if you don't, this channel's solely for TTS. Um, if you want to know all the details about what's going on, we have a stream up that you can go and watch, but let's just get into the video. Omegan. All around me darkness gathers. Fading is the sun that shone. We must speak of other matters. You can be me when I'm gone. Jesus asked him, what is your name? Legion, he replied, because many demons had gone into him. I is another. Omegan, all otherwise known as the unknown twin, anonymous number two and the other one is with the twin brother of Alpharius, collectively, they are the primarchs of the Alpha Legion. People know less about this guy than they do about Alpharius, so that's pretty much less than Jack Squat. In fact, People know so little about this guy and his brother that it isn't even known if they are one person or two. This is leveraged by the fact that everyone is either one of these guys or the other, including themselves. If you don't know anybody who is secretly Alpharius or Omegan, you're probably at him, or the other one, or both, or neither, or all at the same time. Conspiracies within conspiracies, as usual. Alpharius Omegan despite being twin primarchs have been shown to be at odds with each other, both helping and hindering the Horus heresy to varying degrees. Therefore it is possible that one is a loyalist while the other is a traitor. Consider the following evidence. Undermining Horus and the traitor cause. The Alpha Legion's first victory in the Horus heresy was claiming the Forge World of Parama, which was left in such a state that Horus had to garrison the world with substantial forces earmarked for war zones elsewhere just to maintain control over it, partly because loyalist iron warriors took a hand during the conquest. When Horus called Alpharius out on this bullshit, the encrypted response was the devil is not mocked which is an oblique reference to a meaningful proverb. The full saying of which goes when evil faces evil, the devil is not mocked, the moral being just because they're both evil doesn't mean they're on the same side, and that a major evil badass won't automatically consider a smaller, also evil upstart is equal. When the White Scars eventually left the Chondak system, an Alpha Legion fleet, actually made up of several fake battlecruisers with no real teeth, arrived to hold them in position long enough to receive orders from Rogaldorn to return to Terra. Mortarian has no idea what that was meant to achieve, the mission was apparently to give them misinformation about Prospero and con them into helping a different, non-toothless alpha fleet to wipe out the space wolves, and comments that Alpharius will end up throttling himself with all his schemes. Given that the other fleet did its best to wipe out the wolves, it suggests two primarchs working towards two different goals. The Alpha Legion saved Korax and the survivors of Eistvan from the World Eaters. If Korax died, the Raven Guard would have been finished and out of the war for good, much like the Salamanders were. Instead, the Alpha Legion infiltrated the Raven Guard and let them get away to go get Genetech from the Emperor to rebuild, since Omegan was forewarned of this turn of events by the Cabal. Omegan and his infiltrators managed to steal a version of the Genetech for himself, and sabotaged the Raven Guard's copy and turned their marines into mutants, and gave another copy of the sabotaged design to Horus. The upshot is that no one could really benefit from the ability to supercharge making marines other than Omegan himself, and the Raven Guard managed to rebuild enough to rejoin the war towards the end and still have enough marines left over to split into successor chapters. Alpharius vs Omegan Alpharius Omegan sided with Horus despite being explicitly told by the Cabal prior to the heresy that if Horus won it would mean the end of the human race but the ultimate victory against chaos. While if the Emperor won it would mean humanity survives long enough to see the decay and eventual death of the galaxy. A catch-22 with two undesirable outcomes, but hey, the Alpha Legion has two primarchs. Go figure? By the time of Vulcan lives, the Cabal have apparently written off their Alpharius Gambit as a failure, despite from all appearances that the Alpha Legion joined Horus just like they wanted. Omegan discreetly plotted against Alpharius to destroy an Alpha Legion facility which was causing warp storms and preventing the White Scars from returning to Terra. If this facility was not destroyed the White Scars would not have been present during the final battle. Evidence of one brother conspiring against the other? Just like the rest of the Horus heresy. Just because they are twins it doesn't mean they are always of the same mindset. In Vengeful Spirit by Graham McNeil. During a conversation between Malkada and the Emperor, 
Malkada reveals that the Dark Angels had come to the aid of Lemon Russ and the Space Wolves against the Alpha Legion. To which the Emperor replies, Alpharius. My son, what chance did you give my dream? This line is actually very important on many levels. First it indicates that the Emperor is either unaware that Alpharius Omegon is actually two twin Primarchs, which seems unlikely given his whole creation of them using parts of his godlike power and psyche, all the more so given that when word bearers were shown a vision of the birthing vault too many limbs were visible in pod xx, or that he is aware of their dual nature but knows that, while Alpharius could give up on the Emperor's dream, Omegon would never actually turn on him. If this latter part is the truth, it could indicate that Alpharius and Omegon haven't always been together. In Seventh Serpent also by Graham McNeil, a sizable fleet of Alpha Legion loyalists was preparing to join the war effort, until traitor Alpharius manipulates the shattered Legion loyalists into destroying them, under the ironic pretext of assassinating Alpharius. Alpharius refers to himself here as the one and only, which at a stretch might be a subtle hint that he has done away with his twin. As the existence of his twin is a monumental secret that there would be no need to draw attention to the fact there is only one of him, short of Ego that is. The loyalist Alpha Legionnaires queried which one of them is it? Upon realizing that other Alpha Legionnaires were in orbit. Then later determined you're one of his as if the distinction between the two Primarchs mattered at this point. Formation of Malkada's Grey Knights. Despite the Alpha Legion stealing the original genetic template of the Primarchs, they handed false information to Horus which would never have resulted in anything useful. The said stolen genetic information was never utilized by the traitor Alpha Legion either, even after 10,000 years, even when they could have been producing super space marines. But hey? Aren't Grey Knights an original space marine chapter with no known Primark? With psychic powers? And an unusual resistance to corruption? And supposedly improved genetic template? Also 7th edition Grey Knights Codex hints that it has traits that none of the Legion's gene seed has, such as making the Pura more resilient to warp corruption, read Castrol and Crow's entry, which would mean that they are an entirely new strain of gene seed and someone would have needed the knowledge data to be able to create it. The Emperor's Gift novel has a Grey Knight outright say their gene seed was derived directly from the Emperor rather than any Primarch. While it would go a long way in explaining how the Grey Knights are so Grey Knightly, it could certainly be the case that the Knights are told this to keep them from asking questions. Especially since the Emperor had no gene seed and no unique organs, just a ton of psychic power. Present day. Necrons claim Omegon has survived up to the present day and is currently involved with the Necron Sitan. Also his legion has no idea where he is. Well guys hope you enjoy today's video. We are going to assume you have if you have stayed to the end. Consider subscribing and clicking the notification bell if you really enjoyed it to stay up to speed with any and all new videos. Also check out the links below to our shop for some fat ass titties and our sponsor Rural and be sure to use a promo code at checkout so they know we sent you and you'll get 10% off. And until next time.